you are watching Redicon. It is time for some elbow cases in rapid reporting. Case 20. AP and lateral views of left elbow. On zooming, there is joint effusion present with prominent displaced anterior and posterior fat pads. This suggests expansion of joint capsule due to hemarthrosis and a fracture. Radial head fractures can be very, very subtle and you may have to use the maximum zoom and these may be seen on AP or lateral views. Case 21. A pediatric elbow. Let's zoom it up. There is minimal elevation of the anterior fat pad. The posterior fat pad is not visible. Normal radiocapitalar and anterior humeral lines. Let's review the apophysis using a well-known Kritol criteria. All ossification centers are present. Capitalum, radial head, trochlea, olecranon, and lateral apicondyle. C, R, T, O, L are seen. However, I of Kritol or internal Apicondyle is not evident on AP view because it has been avulsed by common flexor tendon insertion and has been pulled down into the joint. It is now trapped within the joint as seen on the lateral view. This fracture can be easily overlooked if special attention is not taken with specifically identifying each and every ossification center and ensuring that these are appropriately positioned for the patient's age. Case 22, another pediatric elbow. Zooming up shows hemarthrosis with prominent anterior and posterior fat pads. Also, there is break in the anterior cortex in keeping with supracondylar fracture of distal humerus. Case 23, AP and lateral views of right elbow show hemarthrosis and an intraarticular fracture of the proximal ulna or intraarticular fracture of the olecranon process. Case 24. Apparently normal bones with adequate articulation, normal joint congruity, no obvious effusion, fracture or dislocation. However, once you review the soft tissues, there is an extensive swelling on the extensor aspect of elbow joint in keeping with olecranon bursitis. Case 25. No fat pads, no joint effusion, no hemarthrosis, no obvious fractures, no soft tissue swelling. It is a normal film. Let's summarize elbow images for rapid reporting. The main abnormalities to look for are effusion, hemarthrosis and radial head fractures, olecranon fractures, supracondylar fractures in children, assessment of ossification centers using mnemonic of Kritol in pediatric films, Review areas include edge of the film, radial, humeral, or ulna fractures, oligranon bursitis. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for new courses. For more modules and radiology CMAs, please visit www.radicon.org.